Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so in this video, we will be talking about Tropical Storm Carl, which is a threat to Mexico, as well as the new disturbance that has been highlighted. And along with that, there are three more tropical waves across the North Atlantic Basin that we'll be taking a look at. And before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video okay and so let's go ahead and begin things with tropical storm carl and so uh, we're seeing here on infrared satellite of the gulf of mexico the southern gulf of mexico that uh, we have the tropical cyclone here but it is not looking too good because uh, the wind shear is increasing and it is displacing all that activity associated with carl and so if we take a look at uh, this short wave infrared imagery here we're seeing that there is the center of the cyclone and notice that those puffy white areas we're seeing are not really around that center or near that center and that's because of the wind shear that is increasing so we have this system not having all that convection being wrapped around the center so uh, it is also a weakened cyclone as a matter of fact as it's slightly weakened but maximum sustained winds were at 60 miles per hour yesterday and so let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast because even though Carl is a weak in cyclone and it is not looking too good that doesn't make it any less dangerous and so looking at the cone forecast here we're seeing that carl has maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour right now and it is nearly stationary but uh, we see that those tropical storm force winds extend a little bit out from the center of the system and that is indicating the tropical storm force wind feel and there is a tropical storm watch that is in effect for sections of mexico so a tropical storm watch and that's in yellow that is in effect for Tuxpan to Frontera so that means that tropical storm conditions are possible within around the next 48 hours or so and uh, once Carl is going to be making its way inland it's going to be carrying all that rainfall with it and some areas can expect up to 12 inches of rainfall so uh, a lot of flooding can happen as a result of the cyclone though it is not a very strong one there will also be tropical storm force winds within the area so uh, if you're in portions of southern Mexico guys please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe because though Carl is just loitering around now it is going to be making its way inland by around early on Saturday and it's going to be bringing all those dangerous conditions with it but by Sunday going to Monday the cyclone should become post tropical and what's left of it is likely to emerge into the eastern Pacific. Okay, and so let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the basin now. And so next we are drifting a little bit to the east. And here we have the Caribbean. And we're seeing that not a whole lot is going on in the region right now. The Lesser Antilles are likely going to be experiencing some nice sunshine throughout today. Uh, as well as portions of the Greater Antilles as well. But uh, there is a chance for afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And we see a bit of activity in the vicinity of Cuba and also Haiti and just a bit to the uh, northeast of the eastern section of Jamaica so that chance is there for those afternoon showers but for the most part things should be sunny throughout most of this morning and then in the South Caribbean there's also some activity some deep convection within that area and so the tropical wave that is noted in the region doesn't have any significant convection associated with it so there are many times when we have these tropical waves moving by and you wouldn't even know because they don't really have much activity or any activity associated with them and that is the case for this tropical wave now not to say that there won't be any more uh, convection developing in the vicinity of it but it's just that right now it's vacant of any convection and then the next tropical wave is out in the Atlantic let's go on to a wider view of the basin and we have two that are located in those regions and they're propagating towards the west of course and then we have another that recently merged off Africa which is a newly highlighted disturbance and so let's go on to that and, and of course the chance isn't immediately going to be high because it is a new disturbance however if it seems as though conditions will be conducive and the system is trying to get itself together trying to develop then the chance will gradually increase as time goes by but as of now it has a 20 percent chance of development and it is likely to not be a threat to land uh, once it is going to be making its way towards the west and then to the 
the northwest. And so uh, this one might just be a fish storm if it develops. But regardless, it doesn't seem as though it's going to be something very significant out there. Okay, and so now let's go ahead and talk about the various conditions across the North Atlantic Basin. And we're going to be starting out with that wind shear. And so here is the uh, latest map of the shear. And so we have the red that indicates uh, unfavorable wind shear or strong upper level winds. We have the yellow that means neutral and the green that means favorable. And so over in the Gulf of Mexico, there we have Carl and we can see where those red lines are starting to dominate the area. And so that is indicating those strong upper level winds that are really helping to uh, inhibit development or significant intensification of Carl. And that is the reason it is looking as how it is now and it is not intensifying. And that is some good news because, I mean, if things were really conducive, then we could have been looking at a significant cyclone over in the Gulf of Mexico that would be making its way into uh, southern Mexico. So fortunately, Carl isn't a very strong cyclone, but nevertheless, it is still a significant rainfall threat to the area. And so going on to this water vapor map right now, we have the yellow that indicates dry air, and then we have those whites and greens that indicate moisture. And so we're seeing that we have some dry air extended across most of the eastern caribbean and so uh, this is going to be helping to induce more stable conditions uh, because uh, shower and thunderstorm activity is dependent on instability so when we have these dry stable conditions across a particular area it isn't likely that there will be anything very major and so as for the waves out in the atlantic especially the one that is uh, currently marked as a disturbance that one might not have an issue with the moisture but again the upper level winds can be a significant problem for uh anything that is trying to develop out there really and so guys if we have that wave that is marked as a disturbance managing to develop into a tropical cyclone the next name to be used for this hurricane season is lisa but of course that system is not guaranteed to develop and intensify into a tropical cyclone but nevertheless i'm going to be keeping you guys updated on the tropics as time goes by and so uh, that is really it for now so again we have carl that is a rainfall threat to southern mexico as it is expected to move inland this weekend and we'll be bringing along with it a lot of heavy rainfall across the caribbean things are pretty much uh calm for the most part nothing very major going on right now and there are three tropical waves that are out in the main development region one of which is a highlighted disturbance that could manage to develop into a tropical cyclone but that is in the case of favorable conditions persistent across the area and so as i said i'll be keeping you guys updated on the tropics and if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with wise.